We're going to assemble the Warp Quad 200mm frame today. And uh, as we previously weighed, um, this came in at 45.4 um, with, I, I bought two frames, uh, not only for just spare parts, but um, one nice thing about doing that is you can pick and choose parts and weigh them. And uh, we actually got the lightest of the parts to come in at 45 uh, point or 44.9. So that shaved uh, a few, um, about a half a gram off of the total weight. So uh, I'm going to warn you ahead of time. Uh, this is my first time assembling a quad from complete scratch. So um, do forgive me if uh, if I make mistakes or do something goofy. Um, but we'll try to go through this, assemble this, and then uh, we'll have a frame at least to start kind of laying out um, where we want to put the ESCs, motor, and ultimately uh, how we'll want to do the power distribution board because that'll be the first thing that we probably tackle after assembling the, the main frame. So here we go. You're going to need a um, Allen wrench, a five and a half millimeter socket, and a six millimeter socket uh, for this task. Um, I went ahead and measured those out ahead of time so that I could uh, have them on my bench. And again, without there being really instructions out there, um, Kind of having to do this by um, guesstimating and, and such. So, uh, again, just bear with me as I uh, build this for the first time. It's kind of an adventure for me. So, it doesn't look like there's any ups or downs on these. Um, kind of universal sided. And because this is the exact same platform on both sides um, as long as you're consistent on which way you put the nuts um, it could be your preference if you have um, the the bolt side or the and personally I think the other side looks a little bit better and I'll probably be having that side facing up um, I don't believe there'll be any sort of difference in anything but uh, again being new to this we'll find out I'm just hand tightening these at this point. Um, I would be hand tightening that if I had the right uh, tool. And uh, the main reason is there's some, there's another inner one that you have to line up, but uh, that's with the plastic standoffs. So um, we're gonna wanna have this at least pliable. Um, you don't want it to be too rigid where you can't turn it. Um, because then you're going to have a really difficult time lining this up and, and getting the hole straight. So um, I can tell already this is uh, this is going to be quite solid. Once assembled, I was a little worried at first uh, there being only two um, points of, of um, connection. Uh, the Morphite has... Uh, three to four, so, so did the ZMR uh, 250 frame. So uh, again, I was expecting um, that maybe that would be a bit of a problem. Uh, doesn't seem like it will be. Again, not too tight. You want to still be able to move those center. Um, Again, try to get them all the same way. I just about did that one the wrong way. 
again living and learning with this. Some of these go a little easier than others. Others are a little more difficult to get threaded. That's the nylon lock nuts. Now, with this being nylon lock nut, I don't think you're gonna really need to go and um, go ahead and uh, um, Loctite these. I think the, that uh, the nylon will hold enough um, for you to uh, crank down on that and the vibration won't back those out. I mean, it's basically the same nut that we have on our motors, so um, should hold with some decent vibration. So next we'll start aligning the, the bottom so that we can do the first standoff. And I've got a couple options with this um, this particular frame. The um, the uh, Mitsuko that I have has a um, pod that uh, I could potentially place on the very top layer um, that would ultimately protect the. Um, the camera, the, the VTX and, and uh, camera and antenna. I've yet to decide if I'm going to go that route or if I feel that the stack that I'm going to do here will have enough um, support, especially with, um, I'll get the, uh, the camera. And uh, the camera, I mean, it, it, it's pretty tiny. So, I mean, realistically, I mean, depending on how the stack goes, you know, we may not need more than just, you know, um, some zip tie around the top of this thing and then a zip tie a couple times around um, and maybe get an angle on it. But, uh, uh you know, we'll have to see how it goes, but um, just kind of, you know, guesstimating how the how the build's gonna go. Um, maybe I don't need a, a pod for the camera because that is such a tiny camera. Um, and uh, the nice thing about this, this is the uh, Spectrum uh, VA1100. The um, this is all in one. Has the VTX, the the uh, camera and the antenna and it weighs 5.1 grams which really is outstanding especially when you want to do one of these um, sub um, sub uh, one, uh, 250 gram builds um, and you want to get these tight but not too tight remember you're dealing with plastic versus these metal screws on the bottom so you um, got to be a little bit careful uh, not to strip those out um, and then uh, you'll end up uh, having issues uh, down the road. Um, Amazon does sell uh, really like $5 kits uh, that have these standoffs in them. So if you ever do screw up one of them, um, just get yourself a, a kit. Uh, I believe these will be 10 millimeter um, with a three millimeter base. So, um, again, they're pretty common. Uh, and the other reason, if you buy, uh, two of the frames, not only do you have extra parts, you have a couple extra standoffs and you'll be thankful if something goes wrong and it's not your only part. Um, again, I do that for a couple reasons. Uh, you know, you break an arm, you know, I've got literally, <laughs> you know, because these each come with a spare arm. And uh, you'll have not only the one spare that comes with it, but you'll have the, um, see, like this one's not very tight. 
I barely put any pressure and it's not tightening. So, but that starts the build. Um, we'll obviously put the power distribution board next and another um, standoff, the flight controller and <coughs> excuse me, this particular one has the uh, uh, these nice little O-rings that will go down um, on top of this flight controller, another O-ring, which really does kind of um, ensure that you're not uh, uh, transferring a ton of vibration into your flight controller. And then with a top lock, lock nut, um, and you'll kind of build a stack like that. Interesting thing with this, which I, I still kind of am scratching my head because I'm not sure why they would um, do this, other than maybe the fact that um, this is four millimeter um, size uh, frame, but uh, they provided uh, motor screws, which it's kind of odd because most motors come with uh, upwards of you know eight to twelve screws, depending on. Um, the type that you get. Um, usually there's a set that's short, a set that's long. So um, again, a little bit uh, odd that they chose to go that way. But um, And again, what I may do uh, now knowing that that's what those screws are for, um, again, like I said, I'm doing this build. Uh, I'm new uh, to, to doing complete from scratch builds. The last one I did was a pseudo ready to run. Um, we had to do a few things and um, kind of got my feet wet. This is definitely my first full-on um, build that uh, I'm doing from complete scratch. So if you have any comments, you know, leave them below. I um, do respond to them. Um, any suggestions, uh, especially if you guys have done warp quads before, I'm always up for uh, getting some feedback. But, uh, you know, this is starting... Um, the build we're going to uh, start uh, we're going to do some motor thrust tests first uh, then we'll uh, see which exact motor we put on here but uh, my gut feel is the, the uh, Armaton which I think is just a T motor um, 1306 3100 KV uh, with 5030 um, props uh, I don't think we can sing, swing 6 inch props with uh, the 200 millimeter um, I think it's only rated for five, but even at five, um, with the, uh, 3,100 KV, it will uh, produce 540, um, grams of thrust per motor. Um, uh, and this build could hit upwards of, um, literally, uh, 11 to one, uh, thrust ratio. So again, stage one, um, I'm going to, play a little bit with uh, what um, power distribution board I want to use. Um, I just got my Pulio um, 3.3 volt step down um, in, weighed in at 0.5 grams. So their site is, uh, again, like I've, I've commented in other videos, some sites are a little bit heavy, some sites are a little bit light um, in, in their estimates. Uh, in this case, uh, they were a little bit heavy. They said it should have been 0.6. It actually came in at 0.5, um, which is the way you want it to be. I'd, I'd rather them estimate a little heavy and um, it come in lighter. That's not going to screw up your build. So stay tuned. More is to come. Uh, we'll get heavy into putting the ESCs and the motors on uh, very shortly, as well as the power distribution, flight controller, and uh, determining how to ultimately do the VTX on this Um you know, it is, again, a tiny little VTX, so uh, I have a feeling we're going to have some unique options with this. Um, so I'm, I'm anxious to, to see how uh, ultimately we um, go about uh, placing this. This particular build will be out of the five that uh, I'm doing. Uh, this particular build has the potential for the highest thrust to weight ratio. So... Um, it definitely a, a exciting uh, build. Be interesting to see how it performs and really what it can do once we um, take it out and, and 
put it through his thrashing. So um, stay tuned. Again, comments, leave them below. Appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and catch you soon.